Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a long-awaited media update. And this is going to be a VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HD, and vinyl record update for August 31st, 2022. Featuring all the media I picked up over the past couple weeks. And to start off, I'm going to show three VHS tapes that I got from eBay. Which this first one I won as a bid auction on Friday, August 12th, and I received it on August 16th. And rest in peace, Olivia Newton-John. This VHS was originally released in 1982 by MCA Video Cassette Inc. But however... This is a 1984 reprint from MCA Home Video. But however, I did check the opening of this and it still has the MCA Video Cassette Ink logo. And it does have the oversized tape reels. And on the side it says MCAT. And there is a print date sticker underneath the end label, but I'm just gonna leave the end label intact. And it does have a sticker on the front saying VHS Hi-Fi Stereo, but this tape actually does not have Hi-Fi on it, so that sticker is a lie. And then the other two VHSs um, I ordered on Friday, August 26th. And the first one I'm going to show came in the mail today. This is from the adult action genre. This VHS was originally from 1991, but this is a later printing. March 15th, 1995. And then the last VHS I'm gonna show, which I also ordered on Friday, August 26th. This came on Monday, August 29th. So this one came pretty fast, which is impressive because this actually came all the way from California and made James Kahn rest in peace. This VHS was originally from 1988, but this is a later reprint. You can see it's got a newer label on it. And the print date is March 10th, 1997. And on the side here, it says 131. So I think that means this is a Columbia House copy, if I'm not mistaken. So those are the three VHSs that I recently got from eBay. And now for the single DVD, which I ordered from eBay on August 12th, which is the same day that I won the Olivia Newton-John physical VHS. And this came on August 18th. Now, I was originally going to do an update video um, a couple weeks ago, but I'll explain why there is a delay in the update video in the comments, because it's kind of a long story. But here's the single DVD for this update. But however, it's possible this could be a bootleg copy, because look at that 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo. It's kind of off-model. And even on the discs themselves, it's got that off-model 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo. Yeah, and instead of having the um, purple bottom, like um, the regular DVD-Rs, these just have a regular clear um, bottom. Now, I do not know for sure if this actually is a bootleg, but I did once see a video on YouTube of um, bootleg Bob's Burgers DVDs. So... But if this does turn out to be a bootleg, then maybe I'll try to get an official copy in the future. But for now, I'm fine with this copy. And now on to the Blu-rays, in which the first four um, I ordered on August 9th and received on August 15th. And this was part of um, 
Warner Archives um, summer sale where you could get four titles for $49. This is the original 1937 version of The Star is Born. And this was the only um, film version that I, I did not have. Because I also do have the 1954 and 1976 versions on VHS and the 2018 version on Blu-ray. Now I have the original 1937 version as well. And then the other two Blu-rays and the um, 4K Ultra HD I'm going to show, I got these yesterday at Walmart. I'll probably give this one a watch in October. And then the other Blu-ray and the um, 4K I'm going to show, these are movies I saw in theaters. This one I saw in theaters on April 12th, and this was a good movie, and I thought it was better than the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie, even though that was a good movie too, but I like this one more. Now, the reason why I got this on regular Blu-ray instead of 4K is because the 4K Ultra HD um, release does not come with a regular Blu-ray copy. So that's why I decided to get it on regular Blu-ray. But had the 4K Ultra HD release, um, if it did have a Blu-ray um, copy bundle with it, I would have picked that version up. And it also came with a limited edition comic book, which I'm going to quickly flip through. And my Blu-ray of the first Sonic the Hedgehog also came with a, a limited edition comic book as well. Yep. And now the single 4K Ultra HD title. And this one is a Steelbook release. I did see this movie in theaters on June 25th. And even, I know a lot of people did not like this one, but I personally thought it was decent. Yeah. And this was actually the only copy of the Steelbook left in my Walmart, so I decided to pick it up.
here's what the inside of the steel book looks like. All right, and now for the single vinyl record I got. Now, remember earlier in the video I showed you the VHS of Olivia Newton-John physical? Well, I also got the vinyl album of it as well, which I won this as a bid auction on eBay on August 20th, and it came last Thursday, August 25th. Yep. Released in 1981 by MCA Records. And the front folds out like this. Let me pull this out. Now here's what the actual record itself looks like. Side one and side two. Let me get this back in here. And that's going to do it for this long-awaited update video for August 31st, 2022. And... If you want to know why this update video is delayed, um, look in the comment section below and I'll explain what happened. But anyways, thank you for watching and this is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.